okay guys i'm still updating you good morning good afternoon and good evening all depends on your location at this time of the day let me use this opportunity and wish you guys a happy sunday and i hope we all are doing all right okay in my previous video i updated you guys what the ohan is in Dibu. the south east governors and other south east leaders agreed within themselves the reason why i said they agreed within themselves is because they are not speaking the mind of the Igbos. of course they are not speaking the mind of the Igbos. how do you call a stakeholder meeting agreed within yourself that you are against biafra agitation i i believe they were reacting to what the northern elders said that the more reason why the southeast leaders are keeping mute is because they are supporting biafra agitation i believe that is what they are reacting to and before they could react to that who knows maybe uh they are afraid of being relevant or whatsoever okay that is by the way so uh, rocha zokorocha on his own site here all right has um given his own personal ideology also speaking for himself what will happen if nigeria break up that is if the Igbos goes their way and um, nigeria goes their way i will give you more details of this before then don't forget to subscribe also turn on your bell notification so you get updated whenever i publish a new update for you guys so Rocha Zokorocha, as we all know, he's the senator representing Imo West, all right, in the Nine Assembly, has cautioned the Southeast against their agitation for Nigeria's breakup. So according to Rocha Zokorocha, he warned that Igbos would be the worst if Nigeria breaks up. Igbo would be the worst hit if Nigeria breaks up. So the former governor spoke in Abuja while addressing some women group that was yesterday and according to Okorocha, he stressed that the South East should push toward fixing the country and not its disintegration. All right, stressing that Igbos are nationalistic in nature as everybody knows about that Igbos are nationalistic in nature. Hence, they should dismiss the urge for Nigeria's disintegration all right so that is what um, that was the comment from rochas okorocha all right that um Igbos are uh, nationalistic in nature and they will be the one that will suffer most if nigeria breaks up so personally like me i i keep saying okorocha is speaking for himself i believe so the question we should ask, when the Southeast leaders met yesterday, they said Nigeria is okay, equity and fairness, they agrees for Nigeria to be won in fairness, is the fairness working? The equity, is it working? That is the question they should ask themselves first. If they ask themselves that question and come up with um, a tangible answer then i believe they will not say what they said i'm talking about the southeast governors and the ohanese ndibu all right those men i keep telling you guys are only doing it for personal interest namdi kanu didn't wake up one day and decided to agitate for biafra yes Sunday Iboho didn't wake up one day and decided to agitate for Oduduwa Nation. I believe we all should agree to that. Something led to something. But now the Southeast governors and their leaders say in, in equity and fairness, in love and whatsoever, okay? I've forgotten the trash they said. So, Rocha Zokorocha here is right that Igbos are nationalistic in nature there is i keep telling you guys no way you go without seeing an Igbo man Igbo man will love uh, to establish where he goes according to rocha zokorocha uh, because atiku abubaka married Igbo man uh, and other prominent leader whatsoever the question we should ask ourselves now is why is people leaving the country 
if the country was so much okay why is if you go to the airport now you see the number of people trying to leave the country i think i shared that video with you guys sometimes ago people are running away from the country so those people running away from the country why are they running that is the question we should ask of course why are they running so Roch as a coach on his own side let me give you the statement let me share the statement of, of what he said he said it is only an Igbo man that goes to a place and remain put in that place buys a land and build a house for his family without feeling insecure the Igbos will lose more if nigeria divides most nigerian leaders who were successful had one thing or the other to do with the Igbos. it is either they are, they are married it is either the married Igbo woman or had some links with them. I can tell you names like former president, uh, former president Obasanjo, former vice president Atiku Abubakar, Bubamawa, just few, just a name a few, just to name a few. All right. So um, that was the statement of Rocha Sokorocha about Igbos being nationalistic of course it is not all about Igbo like I keep saying Namdekanu didn't wake up to agitate for Biafra and the reason why these South East leaders all right against Namdekanu or Biafra agitation is simple they are reacting to what the northern elders said that federal government should uh, organize a referendum for Biafra to exit. They are not ready for another war. And this man knows if Biafra should be actualized, none of them will be relevant anymore. Of course, which of them will be relevant if Biafra should actualize as we speak? So you can now see they are speaking for themselves. They are speaking for the for their own benefit because they are gaining. They are the one that is on the gaining part. They can travel to Abuja anytime, maybe collect a check. Hey, keep quiet. That is it. So tell me why they will support Biafra. If they support Biafra, where will they run to collect the check? They don't have anywhere to run to. No check anymore for them. So when they run to Abuja and collect uh, checks, all right, and come back to the Southeast, do you think they will support Biafra agitation? Like I said, they are speaking for themselves. I believe they should organize a stakeholders, a referendum, if they really think Igbos are not supporting Biafrans. I think they should do a referendum, not for them to enter meeting. They are the ones selling out their people. I gave you guys, I gave you guys a story yesterday when the, um, some people were arrested and they were attacked as members of IPOB. And then, the, according to Sarah reporters, bail of one million naira plus each were collected from those people before they were released. How many Igbo leaders speak on that? How many of the Southeast governors speak on those issues? None of them. Can a full oh, man be arrested and one million ransom will be demanded? Even after all these Fulani hatesmen atrocity, how many of them has been arrested and um, a bail of one million naira place on them? How many? None. But the board leaders are there because of what they are benefiting. So Rocha Zokorochaye is not wrong. Ibos are nationalistic in nature. All of us, we know about that. He's speaking for himself. If he feels that Ibos will lose if Nigeria breaks up, why is everybody running away from the country that is what we should ask okay guys um i was updating you if you have anything to contribute we can discuss that on the comment section below see you guys in another video